A Song on the Radio, a short story by Robert Fairhead. Elliot parked at the side of the road, close to the beach. He grabbed a brown bag bottle of tequila and the lemon and salt shaker he'd pinched from the restaurant where he worked as a kitchen hand. Tie a yellow ribbon round the old oak tree was playing on the radio and Elliot turned it up loud to hear it over the breaking waves. Whoa, tie a yellow ribbon, la la la, la la la. He set the lemon and salt shaker on his work apron on the sand and sat beside it, cradling the tequila. Elliot recalled his mum singing along to Yellow Ribbon in the family car, back when his dad was still around. As a kid, he thought it was about the American hostages in Iran. It's been 30 years. No, 40. His dad left, Elliot grew up, and, as his mum put it, he went off the rails. Drink, drugs, more drugs, and then stealing to support his habit. Jail taught Elliot the true meaning of the song. They forget us on the outside. He met Gail in rehab. She was thin and hungry looking, her arms pockmarked by needle scars. With her dark ringed eyes, she looked like she hadn't slept in months, or maybe years. But it was Gail's smoky voice that captured Elliot's attention and heart. He loved hearing her talk in the rehab circle, and for some reason, Gail liked listening to him too. Perhaps because they shared similar stories, broken homes, Drink and drugs. Jail. Oh, Gail, you hold the key. They became lovers and vowed to go straight for each other. But Elliot kept going off the rails. Do you still want me? He dropped his head, shook salt onto the back of his hand, chewed off a chunk of lemon rind and cracked open the tequila. Lick. Swig. Suck. Lowering his hand, Elliot stared at the age spots above the salt lick, marking his skin pigment and passing time. His last stretch had been six years. Life stands still on the inside, but not on the outside. Six long years, please. Elliot searched for Gail as soon as he got out. He left voice messages and texted her, and first thing every morning, pressed the message app icon on his phone, hoping to see an overnight response. I know the blame's on me. Elliot stood and sculled the tequila without the salt and lemon, savouring the burn, before throwing the empty bottle into the sea. He waited for the splash. Bugger a hundred yellow ribbons, Gail. I'd settle for one. Elliot turned away from the beach. He knew life wasn't a song on the radio. Hi, I'm Robert Fairhead from Tall and True Short Reads and the Tall and True website. I wrote a song on the radio in April 2020, A Furious Fiction, a monthly 500-word short story competition run by the Australian Writers' Centre. The brief for April's story was that it had to begin on the side of a road and include a splash and the words apron, pigment, ribbon, icon and lemon, the first letters of which spell April. A song on the radio was my first attempt at furious fiction and it was timely because it coincided with the first full weekend of COVID-19 lockdown in Australia. As I later wrote in a tall and true blog post on the experience, I typed in the brief and stared at it on my otherwise blank computer screen. It looked like a Rorschach test, only with words instead of ink blots. But slowly, my writer's eye discerned shapes in the random pattern. A car pulls up and parks on the side of a road near a beach. There is a splash of waves on the shoreline and a bottle of tequila with salt and lemon, lick, sip, suck. An apron is spread on the sand. And of course, harking back to a song on the radio from my youth, There's a yellow ribbon tied around an old oak tree. A pattern was forming, but who could I weave it around? The tie a yellow ribbon song suggested characters and a storyline. A recently released prisoner, Elliot. In my story, Elliot's been in and out of jail and is now working as a kitchen hand, hence the apron. And the yellow ribbon love interest? Gail, whom Elliot met in rehab between stretches in jail. As for the remaining words in April's brief, age spots mark the skin pigment of Elliot's hand above the tequila salt lick. And he lost contact with Gail during his last long stretch in jail because, as I wrote, life stands still on the inside, but not on the outside. Every morning, Elliot checks his phone's message app icon, hoping to see an overnight response to his calls and texts. But he knows life's not a song on the radio. I hope you enjoyed a song on the radio as much as I enjoyed writing it for Furious Fiction. Please subscribe to the podcast and rate and review it via your favourite listening app. And don't forget to tell your family and friends about Tall and True Short Reads and the Tall and True website. Thank you for now. The next episode of Tall and True Short Reads, The Cat in the Trunk, will be in your podcast feed shortly. 
In the meantime, check your feed to make sure you haven't missed any of the earlier episodes. Five Meet on Zoom, A Moving Sculpture, and Too Late Lenny.